What's up, Skyline? Y'all miss me? For our first time viewers, welcome to Skyline News Weekly, and I'm Miguel Garcia, back to bring you your Skyline News. We're covering a few stories concerning college news, from the increasing funds of college to the latest in your Skyline News. Do you vape? This story might concern you. It turns out, Assemblyman Kevin McCarty introduced a new bill that would be banning cigarettes and e-cigarettes in college campuses throughout the state. Skyline College has already banned smoking cigarettes and e-cigs except in designated areas back in 2009. So jumping off of that last story we were talking about, the cigarettes and e-cigs being banned in college campuses, we asked around, asked some Skyline students, do you think that this is a pressing issue for us or are there more pressing concerns for college campuses? Here's what you had to say. So I don't think it's that big of a deal since there are like designated smoking areas. It's kind of out of people that don't smoke sway. Like you know where to go and where not to go. Um, there's only like what three or four of them on campus so it's not that big of a deal. But I mean there's also like bigger issues that you know like other things that you can take care of. Yeah. I know. Hi I'm Emil. Um, my major is undecided. Hi I'm Gabe. My major is psychology. I'm Evaristo and my major is computer science. Okay, um, my opinion on the subject is that I think there are more important things and that the banning of smoking on campus isn't that big of an issue. I think, um, personally I'm not a big fan of smoking, but if they actually ban smoking on campus, it's probably going to lose a lot of students because they don't have a place to smoke and then they're just going to like try to go to a different college where they do have a place to smoke. Yeah, I'm a little in between. As long as they have that spot, like the smoking zone, like as long as it's not like kind of in the cafeteria or something, as long as they have a zone for it, then that's fine. But like fully like banning it, just I don't think it would be a good idea. Hello, my name is Larissa Morales. Uh, I study cosmetology here. I'm doing business. And um, I'm just going to speak a little bit about smoking on campus and how they're trying to ban that. Uh, I do believe that it is everyone's right and freedom to smoke what or not smoke. I feel like the designated areas have helped those, you know, keep that help those that have felt, you know, against the smoking in a contained area. And I feel like it hasn't really disturbed any of the other students on campus. So I don't really feel the need or the necessity to have to change that or really focus on that. I do feel like it is a waste of time. I feel like there's other things that can be improved at the school, you know, even in the cosmetology, you know, maybe even just ventilating that whole department, you know, or just doing things and rebuilding things along the campus other than just trying to figure out whether smoking is right on campus or not. Hello Skyline, my name is Olivia Bowman. Today is February 3rd, 2016, and here is your sports update. Spring semester means basketball, and fortunately the season is already underway. Men's and women's basketball conference games started January 5th and are already halfway through the season, with men's basketball having a record of 2-7 and women 4-7. Baseball, America's favorite pastime, just started their preseason games last week, so keep an eye out for them. And badminton, which will be starting later this semester, is to be announced. If you're a big sports fan, the next two weeks will be big for football and basketball. This weekend is Super Bowl 50, which is being held at Levi's Stadium here in San Francisco. Cam Newton and the Panthers are facing off against Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Good news for all you Warriors fans out there, your three favorite players have made it to the NBA All-Star Game. Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Steph Curry are going to be playing alongside each other and representing the Bay Area at the NBA All-Star Game, which will be kicking off this President's Day weekend on February 12th. That's it for this week in Skyline News. I'll see you next time. That's it for news this week. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, and Facebook. You can see our taglines right here. And I'm Miguel Garcia. I'll see you again next week. Peace out.